Welcome to this 15 minute daily yoga flow. So this is something you can do every day to stretch out your whole body, to build strength and flexibility, and just for general well-being. So let's start on our backs. And first give yourself a little hug. Take one knee in each hand and begin to circle your knees. Reverse the direction of your circles. And place your feet on the floor. Lift and spread all your toes, energizing your feet. And softly let your toes land on the ground. We're going to do some pelvic tilts. So send your hip bones forward to create a little space underneath your back. Then pull your sit bones back towards your shoulders to flatten your back. And just go back and forth, feeling the pelvis tilt forward and back in a nice rhythmic motion. This is key, knowing the tilt of your pelvis. And a lot of us have a little too much anterior tilt. So we need to engage the glutes, pull the tailbone down a little bit. And if you know you slouch and your back is really rounded when you stand, you might need to lift your tailbone up a little bit. So a little bit of an anterior tilt. So now walk your feet in a little bit. Lift and spread your toes again to activate your feet. Softly lower the toes down and press strongly into the ground. Keep your tailbone tucking towards the back of your knees and float up. Squeeze your legs in towards each other. Press into your feet and engage your glutes. This isn't so much about height as keeping the pelvis more neutral. And start to slowly lower down. Keep the glutes active so you keep your tailbone tucked. And just lower down slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really gaining awareness of all the different bones in your spine. And repeat that two more times. So press down, hug in, lift up, squeeze your legs, engage the glutes. And keeping the tailbone lifted, start to lower down from your upper back, middle back, and try and keep the pressure even as you're lowering down. So you, both sides are pressing evenly into the floor. One more time, press down, squeeze in, lift up. This time we'll hold it for a few breaths. See if you can balance out the energy that your quads hamstrings and glutes are utilizing to hold you up and you should feel like your muscles are engaging here and slowly start to lower down rounding the spine as you lower keeping the glutes up till the very last moment then grab the back of your thighs tuck your chin and begin to rock forward and back This time when you rock forward, find your Navasana, pull your belly towards your legs, maybe straighten your legs or keep them bent. You can have your hands behind your legs or you can reach your arms forward and start to do some figure eights with your wrist, keeping a nice inner lift. And bring your feet down, bring your hands behind your back, open up across your chest Press into your feet, lift your hips up. Then lower your hips towards your heels. Bring your legs up again. And reach your arms forward. And bring your hands behind you. Lower your heels by your hips. Lift up. And then lower your hips back by your hands. And come back up into your boat pose. Nice. Bend your knees and cross your ankles. Begin to do some cat cows here. Come back. 
come back to neutral, straighten your right leg out with your left foot resting on your right inner thigh. Sweep your left arm behind you and reach your hips up and forward. Lower your hips down, begin twisting to the right as you lift your left knee up and reach up into wild thing, open up here. And lower back down again. Bring your right foot in to meet the left foot. Begin to do some cat cows back and forth. Stretch the left leg out, bring the right foot to the inside of the left leg. Sweep your right arm forward and back and lift your hips up. And lower your hips down as you begin to twist to the left. Bring your right knee up and lift up into wild thing. Open up here. And lower your hips down. Come on up into a squat. Press your elbows out into your knees. Hug your knees in towards your elbows. And then rock forward, lifting your heels up. And lower the heels down. And just go back and forth. Coming up onto your toes. See if you can do this with a feeling of gracefulness and ease. And then lower your hands to the floor. Lift your hips up. Heel toe your feet in. So your feet are about hip distance apart. Bend your right knee and twist to your left. Bring the left hand down. Bend the left knee and twist to the right. Bring your right hand down. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Interlace your fingers over your head and reach up toward the sky. The more you reach up, the more your arms are going to come in right next to your ears. Keep rooting down through your feet as you stretch over to the right. And come back to center and stretch over to the left. Come back to center. Release your arms. As you pull your arms up, draw your left knee up. Reach your knee up towards your chest and lower down. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Pull the right knee up and lower down. Inhale, up, lift your heels up. Maybe even lift your gaze up. Whoops. And slowly lower down, coming into a forward fold. Plant your hands a step back into plank. Keep the shoulders lifting as you slowly lower down. Nice. Point your toes. Curl up into your cobra. Open up. And tuck your toes. Stretch back. Down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Open up your hips, stack the hips, bend your knee, reach your toes back. Then square the hips again, pull your knee up into your chest and step your foot forward. Rotate the back foot open. Come on up, warrior two. Reach back, reverse your warrior. Then come back through warrior two. Bring your right hand behind your back. Reach back again, reverse your warrior. And straighten your front leg, but keep a little bend in your knee as you reach forward. Bend your knee, bringing your hips forward, and reach back. Straighten the front leg again, and reach forward. Just bend your knee, drawing your hips under your shoulders, reach back. This time, straighten your front leg, and we're going to come all the way forward into our Trikonasana. Feel free to use a block underneath your hands underneath your left hand. Squeeze your glutes in towards each other and open up across your heart. Look forward, reach your right hand forward, shift into your left foot, reaching the right leg up. And then bend your knee, pull your right knee into your chest and reach it back. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, reach back. Step back into down dog splits, reaching your left leg up. Lower down, down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Stack your hips, bend your knee, stretch out their quads. And hug your knee into your chest. Shift your weight forward, step your foot forward. Rotate that back foot down and in. Rise up, warrior two, and reach back, reverse your warrior. 
Bring your left hand behind your back. And reach forward, straighten your right leg. Reach past your toes. Bend your knee, come back up. Reverse your warrior. Straighten your leg, but leave a little soft bend in your knee as you reach forward. So you don't want to lock out your knee here. And then bend your knee forward. Again, reach back. And straighten the front leg and reach forward. And bend your knee, reach back. One more time. Straighten the front leg, reach forward. This time we're going to come all the way into triangle. Open up here. And reach your hand forward, step into your right foot, float the left leg up. Bend your left knee, pull it into your chest, nice and tight, and reach it back, float it up. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, reach up. Step back into your downward facing dog. And then one knee and then the other knee back and forth. Step or hop forward to your hands. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. We'll play with a little balance because balance is always so important. So inhale as you reach your arms up, pull your left knee up. Externally rotate your hip, place your foot on your inner thigh for tree pose. Draw the tailbone down, lift your heart up. And then float your arms back, reach your leg back, coming into warrior three. Good. Hug your knees into your chest again. Rise up. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, cross your left ankle above your right knee. Then stay low, swing your left leg off to the side. Grab a hold of your left wrist as you stretch out. And step out to the side, coming into a side lunge. Step back into your Tadasana. Inhale, reach the right knee up. Exhale, open up, tree pose. Tailbone down, heart open. And reach back with your leg and your arms coming into a warrior three. And bring your knee forward, cactus your elbows, cross your right ankle on top of your knee, sink down. Stay low, swing your right leg over to the left and stretch to your left. And swing down and out to the side, coming into a side lunge. Step back into your Tadasana. Roll out the shoulders and heel toe your feet out. So you come into a wide-legged forward fold, then into the left knee, and then over across into the right knee. And just glide back and forth. Come back to center, lift your heels up, bring them in, bring your hands to the inner thighs, press out through your hands and hug into your knees. And then rotate your right shoulder towards the left. Inhale back to center, rotate the left shoulder towards the right, and just glide back and forth. And come back to center, cactus your arms, and straighten your legs, lift your heels up as you reach your arms up. And lower the heels down, bend your knees, cactus. And just go back and forth a few more times. And come back into your forward fold, heel toe your feet a little closer in, and come into a squat. Close your eyes and lengthen through your spine. Then slowly lower your hips down, cross your legs, coming into a comfortable seat. And just circle around your hips, nice gentle circles. And reverse the direction of your circles. Come on back to center. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. As always, I hope you feel energized, but with a sense of deep inner peace, sense of being relaxed and open. I would love to hear from you if you could leave a comment below and 
hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.